Welcome to Satisfactory episode 18. My name is Nilaus and we are going to continue on this really, um, really awesome endeavor. We started up here a bit far away from our base. That is uh, some of our base. I think that's our, let's see, hmm, that's our crystal oscillator base. Yep. And uh, in this episode, we are going to complete the work towards the drones and then uh, get some drones out. We're actually going to be using this out here. Let me actually just start by showing you where we are on the map. It might be intuitive for me, but not for you. So this is our home and we've moved sort of out here. This is where we have our coal mines out here and also some iron out here and copper as well that we used for our aluminium. And the reason I'm starting all the way up here is because I managed to find some sulfur back here and we're going to need sulfur for batteries. Batteries are, let's take a look at the battery. They are two recipes for battery. One that is done in a blender that has sulfuric acid, you, and alumina solution, you. I mean, they, they are annoying because they are liquids and that's always make things worse. And aside from that, it's also the fact that they are, I mean, if I compare sulfur to sulfuric acid, yeah, it's easier. Even though I might need more of it, that doesn't really matter at this point. And even though I need more of these than this, then alumina solution, I don't really have an export for it. But I do have exports for alkaline aluminum sheets. So that is why we're going to go with the classic battery. So six sulfur, six or seven aluminum, al alkaline aluminum and some plastic and some wire, which can be done from copper. So this one will be replaced with copper. That means we get this aluminum. And the plastic we get from some of the newer builds over by the oil area. And we get sulfur from here and then copper we are already bringing it in. So this one is delivering 300 per minute. And it is for us to just go back, enjoy the ride and jump out here. You can see the sulfur and the copper coming all the way from over there. Let me uh, just try and see if I can not kill myself here. And we have over there, we have our aluminium built. That is excellent. But that's not where we're going. We are going to this location where we have set up some things in advance. We have set up a nice platform here. We even put in some lights just in advance. And that is the beauty of this Let's Play episode, Let's Play series is that you can... Uh, that one's not even hooked up. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll do that. I don't know why I have so many of these. Uh, the beauty of this is that I have... I can prepare things so that we can focus on the design. Let's do exactly that focus on the design let's start by just looking at the actual build here it's going to start by making it in manufacturer classic batteries let's have a look at how much it is 90 wire <clears throat> i want four of these so that i make 30 that's 120 batteries per minute that's two per second that should be good that should keep us happy we're going to make a ton of batteries because i want a lot of drones so we're going to have to build this Sulfur, it's good. We just get it in. Alkaline aluminium, we have that already here. Bad plastic, we have that. So there's, these three of them are just inbound. But then we have the wire. 90 wire per minute. That is um, 30 of those. That's 15 inbound. So that is half of it. It's 45 times 4. That's 180 copper. That's not much. I think, I don't know if that was correct. So first thing we want to figure out is where do we want things outbound? I'm going to get the outbound belt sort of here oh oh yeah this is like the weirdest thing there's been an update and that is a very orange color and also if i build then it's much clearer like blue and red blue red it looks weird i mean i like the coloring but i don't like the fact that it's just um i did try to deconstruct something and sometimes it doesn't highlight things i can't of course show that but we'll probably show it when i make inevitably make a mistake so what are we going to do we're going to get the copper on this belt that is going to go over this way. So let's start by making some space here. I don't know if that's the right place. That's going to go here. So I can only get like one, two, three. These three. That means this will be the closest I can make the big box. And the first out this way is here. So I am going to make this alignment splitter here. And then I want it to be in that, that, and that. And then, of course, to the sides. These are the, uh, okay. One, two, three, one, two, three. There, this is the area that I want to place that one on. So I'm gonna place one more of these. All right, let me know, what do you think of the new color scheme? It just, it seems a bit weird to me. Uh, let's see, that's not gonna be it. It'll have to be not there, but actually, yeah, I can do, cannot do that accurately. I wanna make sure that it's accurate there. 
Good. And that will be the first of these. They will be pointing this way. Where are you? There you are. Good. That one. And uh, let's see. How did I just place that inside me? Weird. And that should actually be a merger there. No. Yes. Merge. Yes. And then one, two, and then it has to go in here. One two and then it has to go in here and then one two and in this location all right so that's where we get things outbound actually that's not where we want things outbound i have a better idea that will be bring it out here because then i can build the box this one mm, can i see which one is the orange which one's blue i'm calling them orange and blue by the way there's nothing you can do to stop me to call them the orange and blue uh, let's see if I can see if I do this is the middle and then I have to maybe they get one tile closer no it's the other way what I'm trying to do is make sure that this line is okay roll over to that one and in here is that that is correct obviously it needs to be a better build but that's going to be the output good we can now take all these out whoops it looks so weird with that golden instead of the orange i can't even remember how what it used to look like but it just looks so weird and no i don't have any mods and uh, that's just the way it looks on for me now and it's only this morning that it changed so i figured that there's a small patch yesterday if you know anything about it just hit me up in the comment section with a good explanation couldn't find anyone on reddit going like oh my god this is weird which i would have imagined that's kind of what reddit is it is just yelling about things that are not the way you supposed you suppose things to were things to be yeah that looks good that looks good and i am going to then make this this lane here will be for inputs <clears throat> and that is going to be an awful lot of splitters i'm gonna get the splitter in here is that correct it is aligned so the first one comes in on this side. That will be the alclad aluminium. Boom. Then the next one will be four. Rotate. Damn you. There. Oh, it was auto saving. That will be for the plastic, I guess. And then the next one will come from the other side and go up three tiles. And I don't know what that's going to be right yet, right now. There. So that's all the inbounds and outbounds for this one one and the rotating thing is still there i'm the day that it, the rotating thing disappears i'm gonna be a happy man i'm a man of simple uh, desires and what i desire is non-rotating that one thank you non-rotating splitters and mergers for that matter if you only do splitters i'm only gonna be half ha half happy there and the other one Sometimes it's working, but some of them just... It's exactly so often that you can't really rely on it. There. Take that out. Up. Oh, nope. There. All right. So that is now all of it inbound. I'm not going to hook that up just yet. Oh, right. I know a mistake I made. Uh, I always make this mistake. Because if I look at this one... Do you hear it? Nope, neither do I. And that is because that's the alignment and then go one closer to myself and you hear it now, right? And back up this one. Whoa, no, 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 no. Yeah, I have to take the other ones out as well. But that's okay. Now it's easier because I can just place them aligned to the one to the right. That one. Oh, left, sorry. Right, left, whatever. Align it to something. Uh, that's not it. This is it. I know. Some people are really agitated about whether they are blue or green. I know. There's somewhere in between. The reason why I lean towards blue is not because I'm freaking colorblind. 
it's because orange and blue are opposite colors of the spectrum and that kind of makes sense instead of going with the red green uh, inputs outputs then they have decided to go orange and blue because they are opposite colors that's kind of why i call it blue and you can call it whatever you want but around here it's blue and you could go like oh technically it's turquoise or teal or i don't know don't care blue it's bluish besides that colors don't oh whoa 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 that is not correct besides that colors don't really exist it's just a construct it's just a certain frequency that your brain interprets as blue or teal either way now we do have a problem and that's well problem problem this one each of these will contain 90 of these so i have big made the middle one here into a mark one belt mark one conveyor i want that to be a mark two conveyor there so that it can go it have enough capacity and that means the second one that will be the copper good all right so now i am done with that part now we're going to make the copper and all the other things okay so copper will go hmm i think i'll keep it at ground level and take it this way okay so how do i do this uh i copy this one and then i i suppose i should start it from here i actually really like the new colors i'm i'm you know me i don't like new things but i really like the new colors that light blue color here i mean that's definitely blue that light blue color when things are valid and the red sharp red color when it's not valid i like that okay so now we have to figure out what we want so one maybe this one will be for uh getting the copper split into okay let's try this let's try it and see if it it makes sense the copper here goes in gets split and that means it goes into a furnace not a furnace, a there, a smelter. This smelter will take 30 in and 30 out, which will then again get split right here. And that will then go into a constructor, which will then do 30 of these. And then it'll go out and merge that on. That's not really what I want. And uh, merge that on. This belt is a merger, oops, here which will then be going up and over and in makes sense makes sense makes a lot of sense actually yeah okay now i want to show you something cool i can't remember if i showed you before but i think it's pretty cool so i look at this one and i build and build it i hold control and that's it they will be perfectly aligned this only works if you want to build them next to each other they have to be sort of wall to wall and then it works any other configuration doesn't work but i mean in, in that specific case that was pretty quick right pretty quick there there i don't know if i've if i've shown you that before if i do then uh, i'll just argue that for all communication you always need to say the same thing multiple times before it sort of sinks in so that's just a pedagogical trick here boom that's getting inbound this will be the copper in and goes into smelter i have no idea how much i have i just know that the reason why i know i have enough is because i these ones are making 30 each and that that's gonna be 90 here and if this takes the same three tiles these three tiles that's gonna be 90 and that'll fit to this one so as long as i just build it the same length down here that's why i know it, it's gonna work that's why I didn't really have to count it to uh, to 12 because, well, kind of self-evident, I suppose. There. Yeah. And then I have a nice lane in here just for spacing. I think that's fine. There. Okay, and we are now we get to the more complicated part. I'm I'm gonna do all of the wires thing or all that thing in between. Uh, that one will be here. One, two, maybe, and then I'll do. This has definitely has to be a number five, and then it goes 
to this height from which it goes. Uh, hold on. In here. Which will then go... Uh, one, two, up and up. From here. Into that one. And... Ah, that's not it. From here and into that one. Good. And the sulfur is going... Okay, so this one can actually go in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm going to need more and more. Yeah. And that will also be at this point. It'll be one, two, the other way. And I will have... I think I have to go from here because then I can set the direction of this there. Now the direction is set so that when I make this one, it will actually fit. Boom. And I think that if I'm lucky, I mean skilled, <clears throat> if I'm skilled and well planned, then that works. Perfect. That works. Exactly. So just need to hook that one up. Then it's good. Just need to hook this one up into... Oh! Uh, so much for the whole skill part. Oops. Yeah, that's not that's not a thing, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that, I was maybe a bit quick on the luck and skill thing. Uh, I think we'll go with unlucky instead. Yep, yep, yep. So that <laughs> needs to go. Uh, let me think. Let me think. What is it I want? I want this to be. It comes over here, and then it has to be going into that one. Yeah, two and three. And then I'll do again with this one. And then... Like that. Oh, no. That's straight in. And this one is straight in. Straight curved in. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so now it's working. Perfect. I like it. And things are really nice and crisp with the inbuilt and outbound. Nothing colliding, nothing clipping, nothing anything. Uh, we're going to do this part here. Oops. This part. Just so we can get this done. And once we get all the batteries. See, this is the beauty of it. That you can't make belts the wrong way. I, I remember you used to be able to do that. That's such a nice thing. They're very nice convenience thing that back in the days when you could suddenly have belts that were just pointing in the wrong direction. I don't think you even can do that anymore. Maybe you can tr trick it into not knowing if it's going left or right. I don't know. Probably. With a bit of cleverness. <clears throat> so that's going inbound. And what I need is over from here. Oh, right. All of these have to sort of also be a splitter uh, that goes right in that location and I'm just gonna build a few that one that one because this is 30 and outbound goes into 15 each that's good I'm gonna take the belts over on this side uh, I don't know if it's a good idea to bring them in full I guess that's what we do now And the first one, hmm, there, because then it's just straight in and then everyone's happy. The other one though, has to go one up, that's difficult, that's not, yeah I thought so, so we're gonna have to back this one up. Oh, see, that's the part. See, it's not making it orange until I go away from it and come back. And now this one as well. So the the targeting thing is not, let's say, 100% yet. You know, I like the coloring. Maybe it's only the coloring that's changed, but, you know, it feels different. And that is connected, that's connected. So they go into these, and then everyone's happy on that part. Let's do the out parts as well. They are coming out at 30 per minute, so I can easily do this part. Just a mediocre build on this one. And then I can just, for sort of convenience sake, <clears throat> I'm basically only using, uh, maybe that's, 
I'm predominantly using tier ones or tier three, tier fives. So that will actually give us a ton of batteries out here once the whole thing is hooked up. That's all there is to it now. Now I need to set the recipes and continue on this part, which is going to be over here. Um, but you know, we've done a few of those, so you know that you know the drill. Yep. So let me um, let's do that and then uh, hook it up once we are all the way done. Now everything is hooked up, I think, and all the recipes are set, all of the belts are drawn, and I think it's time for us to start setting it up. So what I'm going to start with is the copper because it has the longest path that is over here. So we're going to set up the copper. I always, this is the best part about, like, when you build a nice big build and then it's time to hook it up. There. It's time for the inevitable hookup and that goes in. Hopefully we'll start seeing these go active. That one is starting puffing, huffing and puffing as I want it. Oh, and this one is getting, so let me just get a ride here. There we go. And that means we can also get this in as well. This one directly in, this one directly in. And we now have everything going in and it is very deliberate that I take these slow because there's no reason to uh, to get too much into one of these at any given time. Oh, we got a few of these, so that means maybe over here I am getting enough of the wires. It is the wires are actually completely balanced, so it's, uh, it is what it is. There we go. There we go. That is awesome. We have it. We have it. We have it. We have it, right? Oh, look at that. I actually missed one of these during my construction, so we'll just go build that while waiting for the first... First things to go in. There. Oh, it's. I like the coloring. I really like it. Considering it's new, then I think it's a massive achievement that they made something that I like on the first go. Uh, that was not going to work, though. Boop. That is good. And I will now upgrade everything. Is everything working? I mean, I guess this one will take a while longer because it's relying on this, on the wires. And the wires are going to be the slowest. But no, no. It's all, it's all good. It's all good. Everything is coming in. That's really nice to see. A bit surprising. What we are then going to see immediately as well is that we are going to have a massive shortfall on power. Well, not a massive shortfall on power, but it'll, it'll, yeah, okay. Um, that's weird. That's uh, definitely a cause for a potential shortfall. There we go. There. Okay, so we are now consuming more. It's going to be starting to peak upwards, and that is. Um, that's where we will start having trouble. I think this one should be able to reach all the way. I think that's the point of it. I must have just deconstructed it. Why too long? Okay. Okay. So we just build it as far as we can over to... No. Okay. Then I just take this one out. And all I'll do this is just to wait for a few more things to come in here. Ta-da! We got a few. Alright, so now the... Objective is that we are going to build. I have deliberately made a location out here. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is available. Uh, actually, it's going to be a bit out like this. One, two, three. And then I'll go also have some girders below. One, two, three. So we want drones. Yay, we want drones. Uh, can we make drones? Uh, I am going to. This is going to be the middle. And then I'll make an alignment thing here. And then that will also be the middle, I think. No, it's not going to be the middle. The middle will actually be out here. See, this is why I really like having these. Uh, why are we not getting... There we go. Middle click. Either my middle click didn't really work or... My middle mid click didn't work. Okay, <clears throat> that one will go away. So we are now seeing if we can make... Uh, okay, I'm just clicking random stuff here. I might need to do some... Go grab some stuff for the drone ports. Look at that. We haven't even clicked it or anything. Yeah, we need some, some of this. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go back and uh, find the stuff we need and come back here so we can build the drone port and the drone and then we can see how that actually operates. So let's uh, come back when we have the resources for the drones. 
Now we're back here. It is unfortunately the middle of the night, but uh, good things have happened and uh, we will be seeing the drones in action. Hopefully it'll be dawn before... Eh, it might be not be dawn. Anyway, we are going to start working on the drone port. So let's build the drone port and actually I'm going to need some altitude for this. Look at how much nice light that goes, comes in from this. It's pretty nice. Uh, okay, so the drone port is 3x3. Three three. It's gigantic. And it is uh, difficult to place, I guess. There. It is so exactly 3x3 three three that there is no room for a power pole in the corner. For example, like this. No room. I wonder if they can be side by side. I think they can. It's very nice to see that they're actually making something that's actually 3x3. Three three. And I'm going to get... No, not... Okay, so let's talk about how it works. Uh, the first thing is... Let's look at the inputs. This input is for inputting batteries. All right, good, good stuff. Uh, oh, it also takes 100 megawatts of power, so let's hook that up as well. There we go. It has an input or outgoing from this and incoming. I think I like that they say outgoing and incoming. That means it's kind of too easy. So this is where you put in stuff that you want to export, and this is where you put take stuff out you want to import from to this location. And again, I think their terms are much more intuitive than mine uh let's see that is not correct that is also not correct it should be a splitter i think this is going to be not at all correct okay good there I, this is it and then i think i move it one over right and then we have an input here yes so i need to put in here batteries I could do that manually, but I'd much rather have it from this location. Uh, there we go. From here, it's going to be one, two, and in here. Yep, batteries. And they go in. They're going to be filled up quickly. These are the batteries used for the actual transport. And then I'm going to take the goods being exported from this location, which will, in this case, also be batteries. And that's going to be this one, two, not happy about exactly the location. They are one tile off from the being logical. Should be right there and right there. But you know, beggars can't be choosers. So here we see that they are now filling up. And then we can start doing the next part, which is placing a drone. And that is there. So drones can not be placed anywhere except whoop, they snap to this location. And it looks like a little moth. It's so cute. Look at that. Oh, when it's powered up, it actually uh, oh, it has these uh, antennas up. <laughs> That's nice. So one of the things that I kind of am weirded out. Now, these are gone, but I can't click this one. The only way I can see if there's how much is being loaded, as far as I can tell, is by hovering over it. So I can see now 490, 624, 654. So that's how much I know. It, this one can store, as far as I remember, nine stacks. So when this one goes to one, 1800, then it stops. Plus, it also has picked up. Well, I can't see that because this one's filled up. But it picks up five, I think, five fuel. And this one will then fill up. But nothing can really be done yet. So we can do like this port, all ports. This port, it says it's 12 meters away from me. Uh, I can call it something that's called a battery. And then we're going to build another one that can actually request the stuff here. Now that's going to be a lengthy process because uh, that might actually be a bit of a journey for me. Let me see how do I get to that journey the most easy way. Uh, let's see. I think... Okay, so let me, let me just explain what I want. Okay. All of these areas we have here small location that just produce a few things they're in a completely messed up location i don't have a collective hub i don't have any of that thing and it's kind of deliberate because now i want every single one of these locations to have a an export the, of a drone export a single drone export that just exports it over to a new location and i want that new location to be over in this area because this is kind of a useless area that ha doesn't have much materials it's kind of flat so we can expand if we need it and that's going to be our future hub that's going to be our next giant okay that's not going to work uh, we really need to have like the leverage this part. Maybe I can leverage this kind of small thing here. Let's try. Yeah, and I bumped into that one. Damn it! I think we can do it. I just, and you know what? I I have another idea. We're now starting from our hub and going all the way out. So this was something I could <laughs> look at the shadow down there. 
Uh, this is something I could cut out, but I actually think that once in a while we do need to go through the base just to see how it goes, how it looks like, remind you what it actually how it works. So that's why we uh, we actually take the trip out there so we can enjoy the view. It's such a beautiful game, so it's kind of shame to just always cut and then just standing look staring straight into a facade all the time all the time. So yeah, we'll do this part. And here we have the moth. I am going to zoom down here. And we are going to zoom over here. That one. We are going to go on this very, very long journey. Off we go. And I really love this trip. I love this trip because it, it's it's one of our first big projects. And just looking at like six lines coming in, it just feels good. Even though it's like slow lines, the top ones are Mark 4, the lower ones are Mark 3. It's still pretty good that we get all this inbound. And we can always upgrade it if we want to, or we can do something else. But at this point, I, I really like it. So what we are looking at, if you can see out there, this is our sulfur that we started the episode at. So we're now coming full circle. This line we are crossing now is the copper. Yeah, sorry for the flickering. Uh, that's the copper line going in. That's the best copper line. And we're now coming up here by our quartz location. That is, uh, that's out there, the quartz location. And then the coal, additional coal location is out further out you can see that was the quartz and then we go here we're going to continue out you can see something a beautiful platform that's been made someone has taken the time to make a beautiful platform out there i love the transition straight into this that's very nice and this is kind of diff dangerous ah, that's maybe something we might want to work on there we go and we are now all the way out to a lovely new location all the way out here and I don't know the idea well I do know the idea of it but I don't know the design of it but that doesn't matter right now right now it's all about just having a platform this is 20 by 20 it's in a really neat location and we can look back at all our factories what I want to do at this location since it's 20 by 20 I guess I'm gonna leave the first two of these out one two and then have this one uh, this one be one two uh, doo -doo -doo. so I'm gonna have these six tiles for setup, yes. So that means that one and that one, and that means this is where we're going to summon the drones with batteries. Because the first and most important thing to get into a new hub location is batteries. Because then I'll feed the batteries into all the other locations, all the other robot ports, uh, drone ports, and then the drone ports will be able to reach out and grab things back here at a slow pace, but fast enough to to build our yeah our hub cool um that is going to be a drone port and that's going to be some kind of alignment thingy there we go and can i get the blue line can i get a blue line can i get a blue line there we go blue line this one i'm going to call this hub audio hub and then call it battery in Huh? That's that's a name. That's a name. It's probably also a logical name. And I am going to take from this one. Uh, it's kind of crossing, isn't it? Then I take from that one. There we go. That's powered. Looking good. It doesn't have anything at all. So when I build a... No, I should be building a drone. Because if I build a drone at this point, then the drone cannot lift off because it doesn't have any batteries. And I don't really need two drones, at least not yet, get two drones here. So what I am going to do is try to go this port. I can hook it up with a destination. Uh, I wonder if I can do that here. So that one from battery doesn't have a destination. So one robot, uh, drone port can only have one other destination. So when I do that, plus one other port. Maximum transfer rate. It has identified something. It doesn't know anything about what's incoming or outgoing. But it would be really cool if we see that it's now coming in. Please. I see a drone moving on the minimap. So that is good. We uh, we see it up here. It's coming. Let's see. We, we should have pretty good. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see the drone. I see the drone. Uh, no, I don't see it anymore. Oh, there it is. There it is. It's a bit choppy. There it is. That's so nice. Oh, this is good. 
Here it comes. It's not really sure. Oh, okay, so it lands. Then it moves into position. Look, the little antennas on the moth are upward bound. That is good. It lands. Go out of this mode. Does it say anything? Okay, there's the crate being unlocked and then we should have it in here soon. Boom. That is exactly 1800. This one will now take off. I'm going to stand up here. It's not going to work though. It's going to bump me off really aggressively, but that's a good thing. I mean, I don't know if it's a good thing to be drunk. Okay, it's also very noisy. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, so it goes here, and then it goes, hovers upwards. Yep, all good. And then it, um... Ah, okay, okay, I'm still, I'm still on it, I'm still on it. Uh, I'm not on it. I am not on it. Okay, well, that was, um... That was dangerous. <laughs> but the drones are working. Yay! Uh, drone, singular, is working. That is amazing. And that means we now can start summoning all the materials out there. But that is obviously not something we're going to do <laughs> this episode. So we're going to land... We're going to end out here, stranded out in the middle of the... Middle of nowhere. And uh, uh, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. We have, uh, we have drones. We can have multiple drones. You can have one drone port, can have one drone. But in this case, I think it's fine that... For now, we do do it so that all, well, in this case, you should also ha always have it the one that actually has the, you place the drone where you have the battery supplies. So it, it picks up the batteries for a round trip. And that is going to be at the battery location, but in the new hub, then it will be that one, that will be, that's where we're going to build it. And then we're going to send it back to summon like heavy modular frames and I don't know, iron sticks or you know all these things we want to to grab that is super nice i'm so looking forward to expanding this i hope you are as well and with 120 uh batteries per minute then we should also be pretty good in terms of just uh scaling this one up and you know we can always scale it up more if we need to so i hope you enjoyed this episode if you have you know where the like button is you know what the comment section with good ideas on how to do the drones what you like about the new features i'm standing here just to hoping that the drone will come back um the new feature of the colors i like him it just takes a bit of getting used to but i really like him and of course if you want to see more on sort of the design and be part of the design process of yelling at me how to build the new hub then come on over there it is uh, come on over to my twitch streams monday wednesday friday at twitch tv slash needles and then we can uh, build these drones together the drone hub together cool thanks for watching see you next time take care and as always stay effective